Hey folks, it's Alex Coulomb here to talk to you a little bit about Prospect from Iris VR and a couple little things we're going to talk about getting design options into your experience as well as the new multi-user beta experience. So for those of you who have used Prospect VR before, uh, you probably know it's a pretty straightforward one-click solution for getting your design into VR. And so just to compare and contrast a little bit, I'm just going to show this, this first you know, experience we get uh, from the Revit model and going into VR. So pretty quick to go from the scale model to jumping into a human experience, look around, get a sense of the space. Um, and I basically have some different wood screens that I need to examine. There's a little bit of a problem here also because I have some glass, some interior glass, and one of the optimizations in Prospect is it just assumes that that glass should be looking outside. Uh, there's no actual transparency in here right now, so it does some, you know, shortcuts there. So, uh, you know, when you export from Revit, of course, you don't actually have control over the layer system. It, it goes out into these AIA standard categories. But if you are toggling on and off the glaze layer, then, or sorry, the glaze frame layer in this case, I'm actually turning off the glass. So that solves the first problem. Uh, but I have a bunch of different design options that all would be on the A glaze layer. So what to do about that? Well, we need to have more control over the layers. So what we're doing now is going over to 3ds Max. And in 3ds Max, you can see on the left here, I've set up the three different screen options on three different layers. Mind you, you know, this is not a VR experience right now. We're just looking inside that view. But then at that point, you can export from 3ds Max over to SketchUp. SimLab, by the way, has a, uh, an exporter. That'll take you from 3ds Max to SketchUp without too much fuss. You'll notice I've got some scale model folks in here and some lovely 80s jumpsuits. We made them red primarily, so it'd be very easy to see whether or not they are visible from one screen to the other. And then, you know, you have that SketchUp file and you can load it up. And we're going to try the multi-user experience here as well. So all you have to do for the multi-user experience is export that IVZ file. And then make sure you both have it. You have your multi-user meeting ID, a little bit like a go-to meeting. And then if you both open that up, hey, you can have multiple people in here. You can gather each other together like that. And then your height uh, will kind of amorphously change depending on how tall the person is. And we got our awesome 80s people with their mullets. And then at this point, you know, you can start to just have a normal conversation, which is pretty great. Um, I find that gestures also uh, are, are quite nice, being able to see what people are doing with their hands, whether it's pointing or just speaking in an animated way, as I tend to do. But, you know, being able to measure things and, and having that human experience is fantastic, but sometimes you do need to know a little bit more precisely what the actual distance is from point A to point B. And then you see I have my three design options here, so we're able to, in real time, you know, one of us is controlling it and the other one is listening, uh, cycling between these three design options and having a real conversation about <laughs> what we like and don't like about each one. And this is just another great example of, of VR being used in a way where no other medium can accomplish this. You know, the, the subtleties of leaning closer to the screen and changing between the three, where the wood is just rotated in slightly different ways with each one, slightly different patterns, understanding what the transparency is and just the overall aesthetic effect and how it looks when you're leaning right up against it versus a little bit further away in the hallway versus in the theater. This is all extremely useful. And now the ability to do this with multiple people is really quite phenomenal. And then back from in the theater, you can take some pictures, take a selfie if you want. Those screenshots get saved. And then also climbing up here, you know, we automatically can move to any uh, horizontal surface. And I can then sit down actually and get a sense of, okay, well, what if you're an audience member? How does that start to affect the view to that hallway with these three different screens? And again, it's a, a very different experience from just looking at renderings or navigating around a, a 3D model on a flat screen, you know, two and a half D as I like to say. But anyway, I hope you found that useful. And uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in any software out there, want to know if it's right for you or your company. And I hope you have a great day.